Okay, so you, you imported all your data again by using the data wizard. Uh, to get more information on, the, on this um, tool, uh, watch the prior video and it'll show you how to get your stuff ready in Excel and import it in. <clears throat> so the information's in already. As you can see, you can see all your pins here uh, of all your area. And um, you select what you want to work on by uh, clicking on the select tool up here. Again, if you want to pan, this is basically just to move your stuff up and down. So you can get a better view of what you want to do and it'll show your areas and that's what the pan does. This section here is obviously how to go ahead and zoom in and zoom out. You can click by simply dragging this uh, little arrow over or by just clicking on these zoom out and zoom in uh, aspects. But again, the main things that we use, um, not that we have to use any of these other items, but the main thing that we do use is the legend overview and the route planner and sometimes the directions <clears throat> and the data import. The rest is, is it's, we really don't need to worry about and of course the selection tool right here. So it depends what you want to do. If you're going to if you just want to go ahead and work on all your data at one time and know exactly where things are at, this is what you can do. A good point to do maybe is you want to go ahead and save this particular uh setup only because it has all your data already in there for all your area for the week, let's just say. I would probably just save this one because you can continue to open up this particular data without having to import every day of the week and um and route from here. So I would probably just save it as and again I would I would name it for today's date so I uh, hit save and uh, I would probably just call it um, week one or week two or even just by date it, it depends um, how you really want to work it and uh, what's what's your filing system but since uh, I'm just gonna name it 11 um, 2008 let's just say so week of the 11 2008 and save it to wherever you can find it your desktop my documents that'll be <clears throat> that'll be your call but I just do that because now I have all my data for the week and I can start um, finding out what I want to do and then uh, by looking here I can tell what areas you're working for example Glendale then you have Be Beverly Hills you know uh, different areas Los Angeles or, or the San Bernardino area so it depends where you want to work at or even the valley and uh, again I'm, I'm just using different data from different places just to give you an idea so I know this may not pertain to your territory but you get the picture so let's just assume that I want to zoom in and find out what area I really want to work on and then uh, <clears throat> so I use again I'm using the hand tool to pan across and trying to find out where we want to work so let's take this example here. Let's just say that I do want to work this area up here, which is the valley. And this is where I would want to work uh, that particular day. So what I will do is I will change my uh, selection to the select by clicking on it and drag over the pins that you want to work. In this case, this is the area I want to work. Notice where I stopped. Do you see the highlighted square? It selected all of these pins here. I'm not concerned about doing anything out here at all. Okay. Now, of course, yours may vary, but that's one way to do it. Then, once I have done that and selected that, I just click Add to Route, and it brings them all in. And then it, you know, gives them numbers of where you want to start. And uh, um, you might want to put your starting point. For example, let's say that. Um, I lived in Burbank and I lived on um, 1125 uh, First Street. I don't even know if there is a place, um, but um, well, I don't even know the zip code, but I'm just going to make up a, a zip code 91206, Glendale actually. And I hit Add to Route. <clears throat> now I didn't really find anything, but um, it found something in Chula Vista, so that example will not work. But anyway, you get the idea. You type in your address where you live at and that'll pop it in and you're gonna add it as um, add to route and then you're gonna go ahead and just move it up to um, its first location and you can move this around by simply clicking on these buttons here notice how Burbank Boulevard will be my first stop now by clicking up it became my first stop so it, it used to be one over here and it shifted down here or you can put Escalona back as your first stop and now it'll change it back to one so again, you can do that with any of these areas here. Um, and then notice how it just routes everything for you. The next thing you want to do is you, <clears throat> you do have more options. 
and you can go ahead and um, set up your profile uh, your starting time to driving and what time you plan to end and of course you want to flexibility just basically means you're gonna have stops and I would probably make this uh, you know 10 minute stops that includes your inspection and a little bit of traveling time you don't have to use my excuse me my time you can use any time you want driving speeds of course make your selections this is pretty important fuel cost I like to use this because it'll help you uh, when you're gonna do your taxes and also when you're gonna submit um, these plants to us if you're doing uh, rural areas that are pretty far and um, uh, you need to submit a map <clears throat> so you put your car how many miles it gets in the city how many in the highway and um, um, it, it'll give you a good uh, estimate of, of, of what your expenses are gonna be and of course don't forget your, your tank capacity you know by clicking that off there and when you started with the full tank empty tank and it'll give you warnings and stuff like that your cost is your fuel cost per per gallon and uh, of course we've all been lucky now where the prices of gas have dropped so I'm gonna put 219 for right now um, and of course um, this is where if you want to set up your segments if you want to if you want to take preferred roads if you want to take the shortest distance or the quickest so the quickest is not always the shortest but it may take you through smaller streets that don't have stop signs and stuff or you can go with the shortest distance um, and that'll take you the, sh the, the shortest route around to get to get around I you I usually use these two uh, different methods here but keep in mind that if you're gonna change this you have to hit the shift key and select all the ones you want because right now if you noticed you only have one selected so if you were to select if you were to hit shortest it will only calculate this one that's in blue so you have to keep in mind that select all of them then you hit shortest distance or, or any of the ones you want to change okay so again this is the route options where I, I was able to attain it from clicking more options down below right here so again that's where you do your setup and now uh, you're ready to optimize your route you hit optimize your route and then it's gonna show you uh, the quickest way or the shortest distance depending on your options that you selected earlier okay and there you have it it calculated your shortest route it, it gave you the numerations and of course by clicking up here you will notice that now you have your driving directions okay it gives you your highway construction information uh, is out of date so you click here to update it and what it does is it'll just go to the internet and it'll update your information notice how that it's gonna ask you and that's all you do here but to get your driving directions you just click up here and it starts telling you how to turn left turn right and there is there's your route for that day okay and again keep in mind that you can always move it up and down uh, by selecting these arrows you can delete one you can add one there's different things you can do okay if you wanted to add a particular address that you didn't find through streets and trips but it was in Google then basically you just type um, the address here with the correct zip code hit add to route once you find it in Google and it'll place it right in here okay and uh, that's it if you need to use a pin you can use this uh, to add a particular route and it's called untitled and it's asking you for the address here and I'll put just for example one two three um, third street and hit add to route boom it's gonna give you suggestions so you know be sure to use the correct zip code again this is something you would use from streets uh, from Google and uh, you just add it on there okay but that's how you do it or you can put uh, um, cleaners or <laughs> whatever it is that you want to add to the route and um, then it'll give you clean cleaners and restaurants and stuff like that so it's pretty useful whenever you have other things or other stops you want to do or make but in a nutshell that's that's how it is on the next video I will show you how to print this